What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro of Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today I have a very exciting video for you guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at my top 25 favorite diecast model aircraft in my collection. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video and without any further delay, let's get into this everybody. So like I said, we're going to be taking a look at my top 25 favorite models in my collection and this includes a variety of models. This was a very, very hard list to narrow down. I probably spent probably an hour, maybe an hour and a half, trying to distinguish which models were my favorite for a variety of reasons. There were many uh, actors and uh, criteria matrix that went into this, including uh, sentimental value, quality of the model, just the appearance in general, what I thought about it and that sort of thing. And I'll encompass all those details throughout today's video. But like I said, we have 25 really cool models here along with a couple of extras and I'll talk about why here in a moment. But I'm really excited to have these out here for you guys today. And this is a really cool list. So as you guys can see, we only have one model here in the front right now. We're gonna start from the bottom and work our way all the way up to number one. Like I said, we have a really cool list in store. And like I said, I really hope you guys are excited for this. So without any further delay, we'll Sorry about that everybody, but like I was saying, without any further delay, let's get started. So we're gonna start right here. So I accidentally forgot to get this in there because there was so many models that I had out here. This one accidentally got hit up behind a box. So this is the NG Models 1 to 400 scale Delta Airlines Boeing 757-200. I decided just to put this in at 26, even though I could have moved everything around, but this was kind of last minute. So at 26, we have the Delta 757-200 by NG. This probably would have been closer to the 20s if I had to guess, but this one turned out really nice. I'm very glad to have this one. One, and I thought this would make for a really good model to go right here at 26. So this is kind of the first one out, if you will, but still really cool model. I'm very glad to have this one and it looks fantastic. I chose this model for a variety of reasons. I love the 757 in general. This model is beautiful by NG models and just a really special model to have. I think it looks fantastic and I thought it was a great model to make the list. So let's get into the top 25 itself. Like I said, there's a variety of models here and uh, for various reasons, as I'll explain throughout today's video. Also want to give a huge shout out to Aviation J777X once again, for suggesting this video. Jay, please upload. Uh, I don't know what more to say at this point. Please uh, go subscribe to him and encourage him to upload because I'd love to see him upload no matter what happens. So here we go with 26. Now on to number 25. I want to briefly zoom out and I'm working around the model right now and coming back around. Let me move the headphone wire. But at number 25 to start out today's list. Sorry guys, trying to get the camera orientated here. We have the Gemini Jets. I'm just going to move this model. The Gemini Jets won the 400 scale Champion Air Boeing 727. 200 to start today's list. Now, this is kind of an interesting one to go at 25 because uh, it is a retro model to start, but I'll kind of explain why this one is here at number 25. So this was a really cool model for a variety of reasons. Champion Air served Tulsa International Airport from 2002 to 2009. And I decided to get this model for the retro Tulsa Airport project that's uh, ongoing and will be starting very soon here in the coming months. But the reason I chose to get this aircraft was for not only that project, but it's a really cool one of Tulsa's history. And it was very ironic because the first time I tried to get this aircraft, it was like $30 on eBay, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to secure the deal on it. Then it came up on Waffle Collectibles, and I didn't see it in time. Somebody got it for like $30, which is a very good deal for this aircraft. And finally, on the third time, I was able to get this aircraft for a pretty good deal. I think I got it for $75 internationally, so it ended up working out pretty well, and I'm very glad to have it for the collection. So at number 25 is the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 Champion Air 727 200. At 24, we have the Frontier Airbus A320 Neo, uh, Ed, Eddie, and Edwin, the, ping, or the Penguins by Aero Classics. This is the only Frontier model out of this assortment of aircraft, and I'm very glad to have this one in here at 24. Sure, this isn't the highest quality aircraft, but I still think it's a pretty cool one here, and Aero Classic did a good job casting this aircraft, so I'm certainly very glad to have it. I think it looks really good, and I'm very glad to have this aircraft in the collection. It's a beauty, and I love the Penguins there on the tail. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys on those. Yeah, as you guys can see, they look pretty fantastic. So 24 is the Frontier E320 Neo Penguins. At 23 is another recent arrival from, of mine. This is the Southwest Airlines 737-300 in the Canyon Blue livery. I've been trying to get this model for a very long time and I'm really glad I finally have it. So that's really why it makes the list here. Also, there was so many uh, that barely did not make the cut for this video and I'll show those here in a moment. There'll be the honorable mentions. So don't be surprised if there isn't a model here immediately because this is number 23. But this is a really cool model. I'm so glad to have this. I did get to fly uh, quite a few of these in over the years and I'm really Really glad that I finally have a non-winglet one to represent. I also have a winglet one. We'll be seeing that here in a little bit. 
At number 22 is the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale American Eagle and right here J-175 with enhanced wing This is the 2018 release. This is a really cool model. I'm very glad to have this one. It's a beautiful livery. The model looks really nice and they really did a good job on it. So I chose it for not only the quality of the model itself, but also uh, to go along with that. I thought it was just a very cool model to have. And I thought it turned out really nicely. So again, I'm super glad to have this aircraft. It's a really cool one for the collection. I think that uh, Gemini Jets nailed this one a couple years ago so really glad to have this one and it's a really nice one to say the least at the 21st position i have the star wars aircraft this includes the united airlines 737 800 in the um star wars livery of course the um the galaxy i think uh rise of the something uh why is the skywalker that's what it is and we also have the alaska 737 800 the recent arrival as well in the disneyland star wars livery these are both super super cool aircraft i really wanted to put them higher but they just got beat out by a couple of aircraft that are a little bit more sentimental personally but in terms of the aesthetic uh feel of these these are some of the best in my collection i'm super glad to have both these and i think they're really unique aircraft in their own respective rights uh really cool printing both are by ng and i think they turned out really cool so very glad to have these in a really awesome set of models to say the least i am moving the camera back as we speak ignore the cat sorry about that all right here we go to start out the top 20. Let's get started. Not trying to expose any others, but it's going to be kind of hard with some of these small aircraft. At the 20th position, we have the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale United Air Express Bombardier Nasir J 550 on the behalf of GoJet. This is a really cool model. I primarily picked this one because I really enjoyed the aesthetic look of it. It's a really pleasing looking airplane, in my opinion. To go along with that, it also comes to Tulsa quite a bit, uh, which I think is really cool. I got to see quite a few of these at TUL. So for both those reasons, I thought this would be a cool model to make the list. And that's why you're finding the CRJ 550 here at number 20. At the 19th position, we have the uh, Panda Models 1 to 400 scale Southwest Airlines 737 700 in the heart livery with the blended winglets. This is another very cool model that came out last year. I'm very glad to have this one. I think it turned out really nice, and for a variety of reasons, it looks fantastic here. As you guys can see, the quality of the model is also really nice, and I have got to see many of these over the years and also fly on several of them. You'll find quite a few normal aircraft throughout this list, which I think is okay for this list, but they're just the ones that I like the best. So that is why you're finding the Panda Southwest 737-700. Also, there'll be more space on the models as we go. I'm sorry that I got really tight here on these first couple. Sliding in at number 18, we have the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale Breeze Airways Airbus A220-300. This is more of a sentimental aircraft, personally. I think it's really cool. I got to recently see my first one, and they are very pretty airplanes. I also have a real big fascination for Breeze in general, so that's mainly why this aircraft made it uh, into this list, especially so high. Um, I really like the aircraft, even though the model's not perfect with the nose landing gear, I still think that it's a really cool one, and I'm very glad to have it for my collection. It's such a great airplane, and I'm very glad to have it, like I've said, for this collection. It looks absolutely amazing. 17 houses the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale Delta Connection by Birne CRJ-900. This is the very first release, the 2008 one, and I'm super glad to have this. This is more of a sentimental aircraft just because I did get it before it was, um, the new one was released, of course, so that was really cool. And Delta CRJ-900 obviously has its story. Um, probably don't need to explain that at this point, but a really cool one in general. I think it looks really nice. And again, I'm super happy to have it for the collection. It's a really neat model. Excuse me, guys. At uh, number 16, I believe, we have the uh, Gemini Jets and the NG Models 1 to 400 scale American Airlines 737-800s in the chrome livery. These are really pretty airplanes. I'm very glad to have them in my fleet. I think they look really nice. I couldn't really decide which one was my preference because I like the simple mold on Gemini, but I also like the newer look of the NG in terms of the aerials and everything. So that's why I have them both here. I think they're really pretty airplanes. I'm very glad to have them. Uh, I'm really surprised this doesn't make it higher on the list. I thought it was for sure going to. Uh, There's also a couple others like front flagship freedom and a couple of other 757s that are not on this list that I really wanted to put on there, but I also kind of decided while I was putting these aircraft out here that my favorite models are various. There's not just uh, as many as I could put all these Americans out here. I feel like they're not all completely my favorites, even though I really, really, really like them and they're probably like in my top 100 list. I don't think that they are, you know, it's really hard, like outside like the top five ish into the top 10 it was very hard to get this back half of the list you know in a place where i thought it was reasonable so that's what we're finding here right now but it still worked out pretty good and i'm glad to see it here as we can see it 
I'm gonna really try to get the camera pointed over so I don't spoil any others uh, unintentionally. Alrighty, so here at number 15, I believe. Oh, sorry, hopefully I didn't spoil anything by accidentally doing that. We have the Gemini 1 the 400 British Airways 747 400. This is a really cool aircraft. I'm very glad to have this one. This is a very special aircraft as I had it on my very original Dallas replica. Not this exact uh, model itself, but I had a t previous release that unfortunately ended up breaking. So now I have this one, which is really nice. Uh, you know, the Captain Dark livery on the 747, I think looks outstanding. And that is exactly why this aircraft makes the list. It is a really pretty airplane and I'm very glad to have this one to say the least. So really cool aircraft, highly recommended if you can find one and they are really cool to say the least. At the number 14 position, we're gonna find one of my absolute favorites. Can I go a little, yeah, I can go about to right here. We have the uh, Gemini Jets 1 to 400, Southwest Airlines 737-700 right here in the Canyon Blue livery with the blend of the winglets. This is one of my favorite models all time. Um, obviously, with the anticipation of getting a re-release of this back in the early 2010s, we finally ended up getting one in 2014, and that's why it made it all the more special. Of course, it was right around when uh, they did the heart livery, but still it was really cool. Canyon Blue was one of the best liveries out there, in my opinion, and I'm really glad to have a great model to represent that. And that is exactly why this aircraft makes it at number 14. Number 13 is a more recent release, and this might be a little bit surprising to some of you guys, but it's the, it's the United Airbus E319 by Gemini Jets from that February 2020 release. Some of these models in here are primarily making it because of the time that it came out and the really unique sentimental value of that time frame. So particularly for this, this was right uh, around about the pandemic time. And this is really when I was really getting my groove going for my passion of aviation, which it was very good in 2018 and 19, but I felt like around this time is really when I was solidifying it as my um, primary purpose and also my um, future career of course so that's why this aircraft so special and just remembering seeing all the unboxings and everything really made this special model for me so that's why i really like it and it's a really good model i mean the, it's a beautiful airplane from the great uh, aerials that it provides to the beautiful livery and the iae engines this is one of gemini jets's best airbus airplanes in a long time and i'm certainly glad to have this here at number uh 13. Number 12 is one of my absolute favorites. I'm really surprised that I wasn't able to get this higher on the list. I kind of wanted to, but it just didn't work out. But it's the uh, 2013 American Airlines 777-300ER by Gemini Jets. It's a really, really, really special aircraft for me. Um, and that's why it's predominantly coming so high on the list. Not necessarily the quality of the model, but how special it was. Uh, I'll let you guys go see if you can find the original unboxing I did on YouTube of this aircraft, because I did do one. And it was really cool. And my initial reaction getting this about 10 years ago really set the tone for my American Airlines fleet building, which is certainly um, done exactly that. Uh, this is a very cool aircraft. Um, it's a really pretty one. Again, uh, another really cool um, fact about this uh, plane is this is my very first pre-order. This came from Easy Toys. Yes, Easy Toys was around back then. And they are a really cool company. So really glad to get this America 777. It's a beautiful airplane and Gemini Jets did a really nice job on it. With the uh, This was one of the, not the final, but they were kind of on the back half with this mold. Uh, when they released this but a really cool one i'm certainly glad to have it in my fleet Alrighty, so kind of similar to 9 day 319 this is what you're going to find here at number 11 i believe this is 11 let me make sure one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we have two ng models this is the south Carolina 737 800 with the canyon blue livery with skimitar winglets and the sun country 737 800 with the tie pod livery this is another really cool instance of you guys can already see the tell so i'm just going to zoom in a little bit here uh, this is another really cool instance of a special moment um, type uh, top 10, if you will. The reason that this is in here because, sorry, I cannot talk today. The reason that this is in here is because uh, during, uh, this is some of the first models I got during the pandemic. This, these were mass unboxing seven and they were just really cool. And these models really solidified my um, NG models collecting. And you can definitely see that here. So. Uh, let me know if you guys like me to make a top video on my favorite models that I've got um, for like, you know, like a particular time of year or something like that, like a particular, you know, era, I think era is a better word, like, you know, pandemic 2020 would probably be these or that United 319 or like, uh, for instance, in um, fall of 2019, probably getting the... Um, some of those first NGs like the FedEx 757, American Ash, or I'm uh, sorry, Flagship Freedom and uh, 75 and 737, that sort of thing. Let me know if you guys like to see a video like that, but 
Uh, very cool models right here with the Southwest and uh, Sun Country. I think they're beautiful airplanes. I'm really glad to have them. Also, guys, I'm moving the table, so don't worry about that too much. But really, really glad to have these. These are beautiful airplanes, and I think they look fantastic in the collection right here. They are absolutely stunning. Number 10, here we go. We have the uh, Gym Night Jets 1400 scale. I'm just going to try to zoom in so you guys don't see any more leaks of other airplanes. Uh, we have one that might be a little bit surprising to you guys. This is the Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9 West Coast Wonders. Really glad to have this aircraft. This is a stunning looking livery. That's the main reason why it's making the list right here. It is a beautiful looking airplane from the Orcas on the fuselage to the real life one on the tail. It's truly a fantastic livery with a great purpose and the mold here that Jim Nidets used, you know, isn't perfect, but I still think it's a really solid effort, but the livery pre predominantly is why it makes the list. It's a really pretty airplane. It's certainly one of my favorites in my collection. Very glad to have this one, and it's a fantastic aircraft to say the least. Here we go into the real top 10, boys. It's a really good list. So I hope you guys are excited for it. Probably not surprised to see this this high, but at number nine for me, we have the NG Models 1 to 400 scale South Carolina Airlines 737-800 in the Freedom 1 livery. It's a really pretty airplane for a variety of reasons, obviously with the US flag in its unique design that uh, Southwest chose to utilize to, sorry about that, to the uh, livery itself. It just looks fantastic. And I think they did a really good job. Also with the NG Models molding here, it looks really good. And I think they did a fantastic job on it. So that's why this is making the list here at number nine. It's a super pretty aircraft and I'm really glad to have this one to say the very least. At number eight is the NG Models American Airlines 737-800. By the time this video goes out, I might have the uh, most recent release, but this is the first one, but both of them are very acceptable. Uh, the reason that this is coming in so high is because of good mold 737. I've seen so many of these, I've flown so many of these, and it's just a special aircraft. I personally think that this will be the next American Airlines MD-80 type sentimental uh, attachment aircraft for me. Um, it's gonna be weird this time because the MD-80, I got to see so many of them fly, quite a few of them as well, along with uh, spotting quite a few. But the 737, I really got to get be a part of it like its whole life, especially in the current colors. So that's why I really feel like this time around, I'm really going to not necessarily get tired of it, but it's one of those that I'll really get to see run its full span, if you will, if that makes sense. So compared to the MD-80, I wasn't even a half for half of its cycle. So I'll really get to run uh, it through with this one, and I'm just preparing for it to be a very special day when the unfortunate time that the America 737 needs to get retired will be. So that is why it makes the list here at number eight, uh, seven. No, this is eight, sorry about that. Number eight, and a really cool aircraft to say the least. Here we go with the American Airlines Crow. No, Siri, stop. All right, sorry about that, guys. But here we go with American Airlines Chrome Aircraft standing here at number seven, I believe. We have the American Airlines 757-200 in the Chrome livery. So in the front, we have the NG Models version in the back, the Gemini Jets. I love both of them. Very similar case to the Chrome 737s earlier. Both are great in their own ways. The Gemini is a really simple mold there in the back, but the NGs also, just the quality is really cool in the aerials and everything. So I think they're both fantastic. That's why they're both here. They're amazing in their own ways. And that's why I have both of them in my collection. I think they're really pretty airplanes. I'm very glad to have them. Really, really uh, great models and really cool ones to say the least. This is going to be the last time I made the table, guys. Sorry, but really, really cool aircraft. I'm very glad to have them and they look amazing. Here we go to number six. The Gemini Jets won the 400 scale American Airlines 767-300 with winglets. Probably not a surprise to you guys either. I've reviewed this model quite a few times and I've really talked about how special it is to me that it was the most expensive model I bought at the time in 2013 at $117. It's a really pretty airplane from the beautiful winglets to the engines to the beautiful mold that Gemini Jets used in 2009. It's truly a one of a kind airplane uh, with the slotted wings as well, which was very unique for the time. Uh, it's a really cool airplane, and if you want to check out my reviews on that one, would highly recommend it. Out of this list so far, I think I also reviewed the Sun Country. Um, the Breeze has a review coming soon. Um, the America 737 Chrome I reviewed. The Champion has a review coming, and uh, the uh, Star Wars also has a review to the United, and probably the Alaska that comes soon as well. But truly a fantastic airplane, and I'm super glad to have this one. This looks so good. All right, here we go into the top five. This is the list. Um, the top three were no question. Four and five, I played around with, with a little bit, but I think I made the right choices. So let's get into number five. 
That's the Southwest 737 800 Lone Warrior 1 by Gemini Jets. This is a really cool model. So this is my very first 1400 Southwest airplane, which is really cool. So that's one of the reasons. I remember seeing this on YouTube and really wanting it. And I was finally able to get it. Uh, one of my very first aircraft that I was able to get as well, which was really cool. Another really cool story about this one is what the original one before that one broke. I actually packed it in its box. And when we went to Dallas as a family from Tulsa, I uh, brought it with me. And it was really cool when we would come back. Um, I about um, forgot to grab it and the uh, gate agent was nice enough to let me know that I was about for, to forget my model airplane and thank gosh she did. So luckily I was able to hold on to it till it broke and then I was able to get this one a few years ago. So really glad to be able to replace that sentimental aircraft and that was absolutely awesome. All right, I'm really gonna tilt the camera here so that you guys have no teasers on some of the other ones. Number four, probably not a surprise either. Let me see how close I can get. I think I can get to about right there. We have the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale American Airlines 757-200 in the chrome livery with wing lights. Very special model right here. So the second release 602 Alpha November is the one that I was able to pre-order in May of 2012. Actually not pre-order, I'm sorry, get, and it was my very first 1 to 400 model. And obviously everything built from there, which was really cool. I don't believe it was a pre-order at least, uh, but nevertheless, it was really cool to get it. I have no idea what website it was from, but it was very cool. So, but any of them are my favorite. I have 601 out here right now because my 602 replica, I'm trying to get the winglets fixed because of the zinc rod. So this is 601, this was 2008 release. It's a beautiful airplane, also 603 from 2013, I believe. It's also fantastic. So hopefully we'll get another release. Jim and I did do the 1 to 200 uh, last year, or 2020. 22, I should say. So very excited to hopefully get another 400 release and hopefully it looks good. It would be the first one with aerials, the two piece mold and all that sort of thing. So what a beautiful airplane. I'm so glad to have this one in the fleet. Alrighty, so before we go into my top three, I'm gonna show you guys all the honorable mentions that not uh, make the cut, but keep in mind it was very close. So this is just a handful. Um, there was a couple other particular ones I really, really liked, and I might make an additional video just to go over those by themselves. It's kind of just all my favorite planes uh, rather than just the top 25. So let me know if you guys like to see that, but let's dive into all these. All right, so the uh, NG United 757, the Evo looks amazing. Southwest 737-300, or 500 Desert, excuse me, is really cool, recent pickup. Hawaiian A330-200, beautiful plane by NG. The Lone Star 737-300 by uh, Gemini. We also have the Arizona one and the uh, Canyon Blue here by Gemini. They're all super nice. A uh, United 737-800 by NG. My brand new American A300 I got from Dragon Wings. The Gemini Southwest 737-700 heart livery. Delta 717 MD88, both these were super close. These would have been like 28 and 29 probably. American A321 Neo, Southwest Missouri 1, mainly because I've seen that one so many times. Uh, my favorite special delivery is probably like California or something, but there we go. Um, United Emerald 175, this is a really clean model. I'm very glad to have that one. Uh, Star Alliance, United 737-800. This is another great example, August 2020. Some of my favorite era models getting to that. Along with that, the California Heart here is another great example. All those planes from 2020 were super special, let's just be honest. Uh, NG Southwest 737-800, this was another very close one. Uh, along with that, the United 737-300 was really, really close as well to making the list. And the One World America 737-800 for indie models was also beyond close. So a really cool assortment of aircraft, but we shall get into the top three. Uh, comment below right now, pause the video and comment which ones you think it's gonna be. Um, I'm thinking that you guys probably have an idea of what one is. You guys might be kind of surprised with two, but uh, three, you guys might have briefly saw it. So let's get into three. All right, here we go. At the third spot for my favorite models, we have, let me get the camera angled nicely so that we have everything ready to go here. All right, at the three spot, we have the infamous. You guys might be kind of surprised this isn't two, but I'll show you guys why here in a second. And I don't want to give anything away, it's too close. But the American Airlines Bombardier and ACR Day-900 by Gemini Jets. This is kind of obvious why this is so high on my list because, well, you know, I've requested it for so long. It is a beautiful airplane. I'm really glad to have it. Um, just a really special model in general to finally get it after so many years of requesting and pretty much begging. But I'm really glad to finally have it. It's made a huge impact on my model airports and my personal collection. I'm so glad to have them. Uh, they're really cool airplanes. And once I got them fixed up, they look amazing. And I'm super glad to have them for the collection. I'm gonna move number one out so you guys can't get any glimpse of it. You guys don't probably know what it is, but whatever. 
Number two is a recent pickup as well. This is the uh, NG Models 1 to 400 American Airlines Airbus A321 in the Medal of Honor livery. Super glad to have this one. This is a really, really pretty airplane. Uh, it turned out fantastic. Uh, NG Models did an amazing job on it. It's a beautiful quality model from the quality of the build to the livery. Really good job by NG. They absolutely knocked it out of the park. I'm so glad to have this one. And it's truly a fantastic looking airplane. Highly recommend it if you guys ever get a chance to get it or the Gemini one or anything like that. But obviously I got to fly this aircraft in real life and it was super special because I barely made my connection at Dallas, made it on group six. I probably had, you know, 10 minutes to spare. It was really close, but getting to fly it in first class, get that amazing engine view, get to see all the sights on our way to Nashville, truly a remarkable sight. And it was pretty amazing to say the least. All right, number one, I'm putting back in its spot. And at the number one position, drum roll, please. By no surprise, it is gonna be the 1 to 400 American Airlines McDonald's MD80. And of course, I'm gonna have to briefly move the table, but it's all good. So this aircraft needs no introduction. If you guys watch the videos on my channel, you guys know exactly why this is set number one. You can put this one here. You can put the Gemini Jets one here. You can put the Dragon Wings ones here. You can put the other JetX one here. I have the JetX Polis here because it is my personal favorite American Mad Dog, but I love every single one of them that I have. The TWA Hybrid, I really don't care which one. So any American Airlines MD-80 really takes the cake for number one, but my absolute favorite aircraft in my entire collection is the JetX 1 to 400 scale American Airlines McDonald's MD-82 November 442 Alpha Alpha with the polished fuselage it just looks apps it just looks flat out amazing i'm really glad to have this one truly a remarkable aircraft for the fleet uh just really does work and i'm so glad to have it i hope you guys like it as well it's a really pretty model and i'm super 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 glad to have this one beautiful plane and what a great facility to say the very least and just like that, guys, that is my full favorite top 25 models in 1 to 400 scale. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed like the lead up to it. I'll try to put some more space between them next time. So like they were over there a little bit, <coughs> excuse me. So that you guys can get a little bit more anticipation out of it, but still a really cool list. I, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Sorry about all the shade and everything. I usually don't use the whole table when I'm filming, so it's usually not this bad, but unfortunately it kind of didn't work out today as well as what I was hoping it would. So uh, we made it work though. It's all good. I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, but with that, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Dredger Baby Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Dredger Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon as Redditor Aviation is signing off.